making friends in your 20s <laughs> no making friends period is not easy let's talk about it so recently i celebrated my 27th birthday two weeks ago no a week ago actually a week ago exactly today february 15th anyways so i celebrated and i had seven people there with me to celebrate and two out of those seven people were my childhood friends and all the rest of them were people that I met in my 20s. Not even in my 20s, I met them, well yeah, in my 20s, but I met them within the past year, which is crazy to me because I feel like I have a close enough connection with these ladies, A, to have them at my birthday celebration, B, just to reach out, hang out, have a good vibe, you know what I mean? And I'm really grateful for that. These are all new people in my life and they have better intentions for me than some of the people I had known for fucking years. You know that friendship breakup that I talked about? These friends have shown more effort and love than that friend. Sadly, it's, it's sad to say, oh my God, my hair looks so short like this. So I wanted to talk about how you can make friends in your 20s because it's something that I have worked hard to do. I made a promise to myself after my breakup that I would make my own friends because a lot of the friends that I chose to make was because my ex introduced me to them and I found compatibility within them and we ended up being like friends or whatever. But once we broke up, I don't know where they went they just kind of disappeared and started ghosting me that's another story however i realized i don't need a boyfriend to introduce me to people i don't need someone to put me in the right rooms i can make friends i'm perfectly capable i am in canada and i speak english that is a privilege right there do you know how many people come to this country and don't know how to speak the language and don't know how to make friends so they have to go through with their own community anyways that's a whole different story let's talk about how you can make friends in your 20s number one reach out to people in your city i know it sounds weird but you can do that you know all you have to do is get your ass on instagram youtube tiktok and reach out to people in your city there's so many people that i see on my for you page that like post and they're like hey guys hey i just moved to toronto and you know i don't have any friends so if you like to ski and go swimming and you love downing beers please send me a message follow me on instagram i'd love to make friends just message those people. I know your ass has seen those people on TikTok. Don't just comment and be like, me. Send them a DM on Instagram and be like, hey, I saw your TikTok. This is what I like to do. This is what I, you know, do for work. I would love to connect with people, blah, 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 blah. Make the plans. Don't just be like, oh, haha, online friends. No, go out of your way, build a connection, be like, hey, like we're chatting online, but we may as well just meet up. Do you want to go to this cafe and make the plans? Pretend that you're a man pursuing a woman who's actively taking the initiative to make it work so <laughs> that's funny because most men don't do that however if they did what they were supposed to do just pretend you're one of them okay so <laughs> yeah i would say reach out to people on instagram if you see someone on your instagram that you know you constantly see them around on your explore page or whatever or they're tagged in brands and you're like i feel like we'd vibe just send them a message or follow them and start liking their pictures comment on their stuff they're probably gonna follow you back because pretty girls always follow pretty girls and i think all women are pretty and then just dm them after a couple likes back and forth and be like hey like i love your post every time i see your story it reminds me of something that like i think of so i would love to chat with you one day i feel like we get along and just like send them a message and it's not as weird as it seems to be i promise you these people will probably feel so happy when they get messages like that because i've received messages like that and i'm friends with those people to this day i swear to you so people are more open than you think they are number two bumble bff I have a whole video on how to use Bumble BFF to make friends. One of my friends from my birthday who I consider like a really good friend of mine now and I really love her company and you know she's so dope. I met her on Bumble BFF and she is awesome and there are very normal people on there, very cool people on there. Her and I met up, I took initiative, you know, I said hey like I feel like we connect, like do you want to go here, blah blah blah. Even she was taking initiative too to be honest. and. We're friends now. Speaking of, I haven't replied to her messages because I suck at texting. Yeah, Bumble BFF. If you need help with Bumble BFF, just check out my video on it. I'm gonna put a card somewhere, link down below. Check it out. I will talk you through the entire process and I'll give you some skits and some fun. So make sure to check that video out for more advice. I'm just gonna kind of quickly go over that because I do have like a 15 minute video on it. But yeah, use Bumble BFF, download it. If you're not familiar with it, it is the Bumble dating app. All you have to do is download that and switch to BFF mode, and then you're gonna start seeing people in your area that you might be compatible with. It's really cool. Clubs, washrooms, and bars, okay? You already know what it's like to be a girl in a washroom when you're drunk. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Wow, I love your hair. Wow, your edges look amazing. You know those ones. Okay, so 
One of my friends now that I really, really consider a close friend and I feel like we were meant to meet. Like I feel like she's like, I don't know, like twin flame vibes or like soulmate vibes. Like we just click, you know? I met her at a party. I met her at a party in the summertime and it was so easy. We were just like joking and laughing because she watched my channel and we danced for a second and we were just like having fun. And then she ended up in one of my videos for my other channel. And during that time we, we vibed and we ended up going for drinks and we're friends now. We met at a party. I feel like people underestimate how easy it is to meet people when you're drunk at a party. Um, we just connected and it was really easy. In another situation, you could literally just like start dancing with someone or offer them a shot if you have bottle service or you know just talk to them and just hit them up the next time you're out. Let's say you're out on a Sunday and it's like Union Sundays or Product Thursdays, you know these are Toronto things. Then hit them up next time and be like, hey girl, I'm going to Union tonight, are you going to be there? And if she says yes or no, doesn't matter. You say yes, you say, oh my god, do you want to meet up? You say no, oh too bad, I was hoping to see you there, we should make plans to go out sometime. Start the relationship off easy as a party friendship, you know? Start by going out to ease the tension and you know, have the icebreaker, but then by like the second hangout, be like, girl, we should go for dinner one day. I feel like we're always drunk when we talk, like let's go for dinner and just like hang out. And then that's when you start building the friendship because in the beginning, it's a little easier to have common interests, you know, partying, drinking, dancing, things like that. But you also want to establish a real solid foundation for a friendship. So make sure you start planning wholesome shit and be like, hey, do you want to come over and like, I don't know, read tarot cards or something and have them come over for like a little wine night where you just have a little bit of wine. You're just talking and getting to know each other and then you'll really know if you connect. So yeah, trust me, clubs, club washrooms and bars are a great place to meet friends. All you have to do is compliment someone to strike up the conversation. Hey, oh my god, your curls look beautiful. What do you use in your curls? Oh, you use Cantu. I use Cantu. Oh my god, blah, blah, blah. did you hear about the Cantu recall? Blah, 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 blah. There you go. <laughs> Mutual friends. So, the friend that I just mentioned that I met at the party, she introduced me to her friend who I now fuck with. I really, really love her energy. I think she's amazing to be around. Now, when she comes through, she brings her friend, who's now my friend. We have a little group chat. And I love it. I'm so happy that she introduced us. So if you see a friend and you see their friend group and you feel like I would vibe with them, ask if you can come out with them one day or, be, or the next time you make plans, be like, hey, bring your friends if you want. You're not using them. You're just genuinely making a connection. I remember I was going out with my friend and I thought it was only her one friend coming and I pull up and then like five girls were there. I was like, oh, and I went alone. And at first I was so nervous, but by the end of the night, I had such a good time with her and all her friends. They invited me on vacation. I didn't go because I couldn't, but it was a cool opportunity and I would have loved to go on a girls trip with them and I mean like yeah I'm not close with all the girls in the friend group yet but I feel like in the summertime we'll probably spend more time together and I'll make some new wholesome genuine friends and I love that idea because I like making real friends I don't like just making party friends I want to make friends that I can party with you but I can also sit down on my couch and cry to you about what's going on or tell you some real shit you know check up on you and see how you're doing so yeah Ask your friends to introduce you or just suggest, hey, if you want, you can bring your friends over so that we have more girls and see how you connect with them. I think that's a great opportunity because, you know, you never know who you're going to meet through other people. Number five, become a regular somewhere. I've become regular at places and, you know, one day you just say, hey, I don't know your name. What's your name? And then you introduce yourself, they introduce themselves. We're like, yeah, like I'm here all the time. Just start talking to them. Every time you walk in, say hi. You might bump into them if you're in like a city like me, like downtown, like I might bump into these people. They might offer you a free drink at the coffee shop they work at. Build that connection and be like, hey, I think like we'd connect. Why don't we meet up somewhere? I just went to a bar the other day and the girl and I were vibing about astrology and now we have plans for coffee. Oops, I forgot to reply to her too. Now we have plans for coffee and she has a lot of common interests as I do. And I feel like when we meet up and talk, it's gonna be a great vibe because we probably are gonna have a lot to talk about. And maybe we won't be friends and besties, but maybe we're gonna both have shared goals and be able to connect and build a good, like solid friendship or, you know, acquaintanceship. I don't know, I'm open to whatever. Meet people, introduce yourself, become a regular. I've gone to that place so many times. I literally go there like once a week and she, that's probably why she struck up the conversation because she's probably like, ah, I see this girl all the time. I'm over here in her conversation. She like chimed in and we started chatting and it was really easy. Number six, TikTok. Like I said, lots of those bitches be posting, hi, I'm new to the city, Do you, blah, blah, blah. I want friends, be that girl or guy. Make a TikTok and just be like, hey, if you're in Toronto, stop scrolling. Always start with that and then be like, I'm looking for friends, I, you know, I just got to the area, or just come up with something, I don't know, tell them what you like, I'm 27, always say your age, always say your age to filter out the 19 year olds, you don't want to be chilling with 19 year olds if you're 27, 
um, you know, talk to the camera and be like, hey, I'm looking for friends. If you like coffee, if you like wine nights, hit me up, let's meet up, blah, blah, blah. Make a TikTok. If even a thousand people see it, 10 people will probably hit you up. And there you go. And there you go. You have 10 people to choose from. Trust me, try it out. Those videos always do well. They get at least 500 views. And that is enough because they're all 500 local views. So try it out. Number seven, seven, I don't know. Boyfriends, friends, girlfriends, friends, whatever. So what I mean by that is like I said, I met a lot of people through my ex. I relied on him to make friends. Don't do that, don't be silly. But if you do have a significant other, you can use that to your advantage and be like, hey, like, do you wanna bring some of your friends out and like maybe we can meet and blah, blah, blah. And try and build your own relationships with them so that you can hang out with them outside of your partner. You don't need your partner to be the buffer. You can see them and hang out with them. One of my friends, well, not anymore, but one of my previous friends, her and I would always hang out without him because he introduced us and she was a makeup artist and um, we'd always hang out without him. I still consider her like a distant friend because nothing went down, however, we don't speak. She never goes to me though, I will say, she never goes to me. We just, we don't really talk, we lost touch. Um, but we did have a good friendship and we'd hang out without him and it was really cool. We had a lot in common and we did not need him. And it was great because at that time in my life, I was looking for more black girlfriends and I, I was really happy to spend time with her. So definitely go out of your way to make those friendships and keep them going. So use your significant other, use them. <laughs> Start a hobby. Do you like to dance? Do you like to make clay? Do you want to do singing lessons? I don't know, start a group hobby if you have the funds for it. That is a great way. Take some painting classes, take some poetry classes. So number seven, eight, nine, whatever we're on now. Start a creative project, okay. So if you are a creative, this is a great way to meet people. This is how I've met people. If you have a project that you're working on, don't work with your usual crew. Find new faces. So for example, let's say you're a photographer or a model or a owner of a swimwear company and you need to do a shoot instead of using your go-to makeup artist your go-to hairstylist or go-to photographer get on tiktok and be like hey seattle hey toronto looking for creatives if you want to work hit me up looking to collab with creatives in the city do you know how many people i've met because of that do you know how many people i've met the last set that i was on was for a magazine that i shot with last march if you ever saw my video where i was the model i was modeling for them whatever this year i was a production assistant no photographer I don't remember, I think production assistant or something. I don't know. Anyways, I ended up meeting really dope people that day. I met someone who works at the studio and who is a very talented photographer. I met another talented film photographer. I met the fucking girl from Gossip Girl. You know the, the bald girl, the really beautiful? You know the, the main character, Julian? Yeah, she was the model that day. Her and her partner, who, is, by the way, is beautiful. They're both beautiful. And I was talking to them all day on set. It was such a cool experience. You would never know that girl's famous, but yeah, I was like really meeting some cool people, some new faces, some makeup artists, some hairstylists, just talented people. And I connected with most of them on Instagram. I have most of them on Instagram. And yeah, now I have new acquaintances who if I want to reach out and become friends with, it's a very easy thing to do. So start a creative project, whatever that means to you. For, for example, for me, I want to start doing things in the spiritual community. So like that girl I met at the bar the other day, she is already doing so many of the things that I hope to do. So meeting her and starting a project and being like, hey, can I get your advice? Great way to make a friend. So take advantage of your talents and skills and use that to find people with common interests. Do little casting calls online, find some new people. And I'm telling you, maybe you'll meet eight people and one of them will be your friend, right? You're not going to be compatible with everyone, but at least you're getting your face in the right room and you can meet people that way. Last one, find a part-time job. So initially I got my job, I don't know if you guys know, but I work at a dispensary in downtown Toronto. I found this job because I wanted to meet people that were in my area. I was moving downtown and I have a lot of Toronto friends, but not many along the area that I live in. So I was like, okay, if I get this job, I can make friends. So I got hired and you know, the people there are amazing. Like they're such sweet people. Have not hung out with any of them outside of work and that's okay. I feel like sometimes you make some good friends, sometimes you make work friends, sometimes you make work acquaintances, and I guess we're all just different. I don't know, it just hasn't happened. So anyways, if I was really on a mission to keep finding friends, I probably would have quit and gone, found a new job where you know maybe the people are more into the things that I am. I don't know, no shade to those people, they're all awesome. But I'm saying this to say, find a job to make new friends. So that was my main goal, but I actually ended up really liking the job and liking the people that I worked with, so I'm still there. I'm working there once to, I would say like twice a week, I would say. If you're trying to be more social, I would suggest something like a bar. Apparently it's very easy to make friends at the bar. Maybe working at like a tanning salon or something like that, or um, a cafe where it's like 
a cool creative area. Maybe you'll meet a lot of people there. So find a part-time job. Maybe you don't need it. Just tell your manager, oh, I can only work two shifts a week. But use those shifts to your advantage and find common interests, connect with them online and build a friendship. Be like, hey, I'm gonna go for drinks after work. Do you wanna join me? You know what I mean? Like you have to make the effort. You can't just sit around and wait for these things to come to you. You genuinely have to want it. And if you want it, you will do what it takes because I went so long saying it's so hard to make friends. It's so hard, it's impossible. It's really not because I've, literally, I've made so many friends this year and it's because I went out of my way and those people wanted friends too. You'd be surprised how many people want friends. So put your pride aside, stop being scared, stop being shy, do what you gotta do to make those friends. Stop telling yourself you wanna make friends and it's hard. I can't do it, it's impossible. Tell yourself I wanna make friends and I'm gonna make friends, period. Manifest it. All right, now that you know what to do, Use these tools. I'm sending you good energy. I'm sending you all the vibes, all the harmonious, abundant, genuine relationships are on their way into your life. Don't you worry, they're coming. It's just a matter of them manifesting themselves into the physical world. They're on their way, okay? So be open to receiving and they will come. I'm so excited for you guys to make your friends, your new besties. For now, I got you guys. You guys are my besties. You have me, I'm your bestie and um, until next time, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I helped. And don't forget to check out the Bumble BFF episode, episode, <laughs> um, video if you need advice on how to use that uh, website or app. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go study at a cafe because maybe I'll meet some cool people there. Study, bitch, am I okay? I'm not in school, work. <sighs> I gotta go, I'm tired. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>